Today's episode is brought to you by T-Jet. Uh, they are the best nozzle bodies that a guy can buy for food plus spraying. Uh, we also got Master Manufacturing in there, whoever those guys are. Who are those guys? Um, Rookie Specials. A.O. Royal. Uh, that sounds like you got a mouthful of rocks when you say that. But anyway, uh, they're sponsoring us today as well. Blake is all about it. He prefers uh, just mixing the biggest concoction together that we can. Um, so anyway, that's what we're into. Um, whole ladder sections break apart there. Uh, we got this saddle mount built on the back here. Just slap them up there, pin them uh, back in place. That way you can that way you can transport them reasonably. Uh, but anyway, we just welded some ladder sections to cut them down, welded them together. Weld anything from the crack of dawn to broken hearts from eggshell to spiderwebs. I have done some work for a few young black widows. We weld that right-handed, left-handed six inches off a floor up against a wall in the corner with without a mirror. Up, heel down, heel side to side. No crack too tight, no gap too wide. If you don't like the way I do it, I'll let you try it. I made a saddle mount to sit there on the, uh, on the tailgate. Uh, but anyway, we're just out here having fun trying to kill some weeds today. guys and we're out here killing some mighty fine looking clover honestly got Blake running the homemade spray rig we've been using it for I mean honestly we probably sprayed 40 acres with that thing so far this year um, I know Blake sprayed one eight acre patch himself I sprayed uh, six acres of corn twice with it um, canyons used it some uh, it's been really good for us so far uh, I took an eight gallon a minute pump and I got eight nozzles on there. Found some guys on YouTube that have done similar things. Um, nozzles are on 30 inch spacing. Should be spraying 16 foot, 17 foot, somewhere in there. Uh, it sure beats doing it with like two nozzles like we've done before, uh, if my calculations are correct, which they probably aren't. We should be running at about five or six miles an hour. Uh, that should be putting about 10 gallon to the acre on, uh, running at 35 PSI regulated as we are. But anyway, we're spraying food plus today. Um, this will be, well, this will be the seventh acre we're spraying right now. And, uh, and then we've got one other half acre patch to do. So anyway, uh, we're out here, like I said, first weekend in August, we are just spraying these food plots, getting them ready. Hopefully in three weeks, uh, this will be very dead. We'll come in here and we'll till this. This is gonna be Grandpa Ray's inner sanctum again. This has been inner sanctum for, this will be the third year. Um, had really good luck with it so far. Um, right in the center of the screen, you can see my uh, blind frame. Uh, that's a Radix Monarch soft blind that goes right there. Um, this is what I call the sprout patch. I come from the left of the screen down that fence row, slip in down the edge of the brush here, and I've got a path cut through that thick, nasty mess in the center of the screen to get into that blind there. Uh, so anyway, uh, hidden patch here. You can see all the dead ash trees right there in the center of the screen, south of the plot. Um, and again, this is a heck of a stand of clover that's left over from the inner sanctum. This is the second best stand of clover that I have ever had that I'm killing. Um, I've had better stands than this, but this is the second best stand of clover that I've killed. Um, I feel kind of bad doing it, but I, again, I do want that, uh, the inner sanctum, the full mix down here again, uh, like I've had in years past, because it's definitely, uh, proven down here. The deer just love it. Um, right here, this whole west edge of the plot that we're looking at is the creek. Um, uh, so it stays very wet. As you can see, uh, it's shaded down here as well. That's why I choose inner sanctum for this down here. Um, it's shade tolerant and it is wet tolerant. Um, and it does perfect down here, it really does. So, just getting this ready to go. Uh, hopefully we're gonna plant it in about three weeks, till it and plant it in about three weeks. Um, they're toward the end of August, just waiting on a rain. So anyway, Blake appears to be drunk. Cause he's coming down through here. Um, but, uh, just doing a little spraying today. <laughs> 